So Meg, this is your first castle. Yeah. And you're saying it's rather hard for you to believe that this is probably the best part of, well, in fact, over 900 years old. I believe it. It's just like, I can't really think of other places I've been that are that old. Or that have been around that long. There are people, well, you're walking on the ground that was being walked on by people 900 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Rather good, isn't it? Yeah. I enjoy this. What? A little... You can look and so that people can't, you know, shoot their arrows or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, but you can! <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what? The... What? I love the rooftops and the actual view. And I should do it on my They're playing Dalek. I yeah, know. Nevada. I know. Stop Okay, someone needs to carry this. I need to get my camera. So you should. Okay. Someone needs to film yeah. that. <laughs> That's fun stuff. <laughs> That's so awesome. I mean, I mean, how 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 slim are actually the chances that you meet and you meet up in the deep that you meet kids with Sonic screwdriver? No, but yeah, that is just playing Doctor Who. Too good. <laughs> I love this view picture. This is just mind blowing. It's so European. What is mind blowing? This. It's just the epitome of, like, European. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely European. Okay, what Meg is referring to, uh, she's standing for the very first time in a castle, actually a deep, that is over 900 years old. And she said it's so, uh, so European. Yeah. And I, I have to admit it is. It's it is European, but then again, that's hardly surprising. And then again, if you look at the, uh, at the rooftops, you, you could think that we are actually in New Zealand. New Zealand? It looks like New Zealand a bit, I think. Well, well you've, I, you've been to New Zealand, I haven't. No, I haven't been, but I want to. Okay. That was us prowling the battlements of Totnes Castle. And um, oh, one thing I should uh, let you know about, just uh, just before I go on. You know the kids down in the, uh, in the deep where uh, they were playing around? Well, one of them had a sonic screwdriver. But what they didn't realise when we arrived was um, he pointed his sonic screwdriver at us and we all whipped out ours and went, Ah, gotcha! <laughs> and he was rather surprised, as you can imagine. <laughs> but yeah, we were um, just wandering around up there and, of course, that was Meg's first experience of a castle. Thinking. Yeah, I yeah. could live here. After that, we split up. Uh, Dome and Nikki went off to the cinema, while me and Meg went to the local leisure centre to have a swim and to enjoy the sauna a bit. And uh, Meg seemed to think that the swimming pool was rather warm. Strange. We've just come from the swimming pool, and. Meg seemed to think it was rather warm, and I, I think this is probably her Canadian heritage coming out, really, Ooh, because... It was, it was not a hot tub, it was supposed to be cold. Uh, she has this weird idea that swimming pools are supposed to be cold. People would complain here if swimming pools were cold. But then again, it's sort of, I suppose, anything under well, sort of bath, 20 below... Well, if I wanted a bath, I wanted a bath. Anything under 20 below, she waxes her bikini line anyway, so I suppose... <laughs> <laughs> no worries there. After we met up with Derm and Nikki again, uh, we went out for uh, some dinner. And uh, unfortunately, the only a bit of footage I have left from that evening was this one of Meg dancing on the Brutus stone. It's cold. What? That wasn't Brutus meant to be a traitor. 
The next day we were all set to go off to the gathering at Bournemouth, but unfortunately Nicky had to catch the train home first. There she goes. Emma? Nikki? Why did I say Emma? Emma? Why Nikki? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know where that came from. After we'd seen Nikki off, uh, there followed a, what turned out to be a rather stressful drive to Bournemouth. But we did get there in the end. And, uh, went directly to Bournemouth Pier. So after a rather um, shaky journey here, we're finally at Bournemouth Pier and it is packed. Although, besides my two erstwhile travelling companions, I can't find a single YouTuber. We're apparently waiting for Barry Aldridge here, who should be turning up soon. That'd be nice. Keep our eyes peeled, I guess. You see, what we didn't realise is that um, we thought that the uh, meeting would be happening where we were standing, but actually it was happening at the far end of the pier. So we spent a good 10-15 minutes waiting there, uh, and nothing happened. But we did eventually find the place. Yeah, so for the next 10 minutes, if you just want to chill, um, just let you know there is some great merchandise being sold in the corner there. Uh, and at the bar, it's really, really good food if anyone wants to get me anything like a burger. It'd be really good. But uh, there's 10% off, and all the money that we can uh, get together with that goes to the great cause. So just keep that in mind in the next 10 minutes, and we will be back then. Miles Dyer was acting as MC for the event, and it was nice to see a few familiar faces of people I'd only met recently, perhaps at the bar gathering or at Summer in the City. But um, what the moment we were all waiting for was just around the corner, and um, I should warn you all, um, the following footage will contain pictures of Clive. Prepare yourself. <laughs> We're sharing wine gums with Clive. No, no, come in, come in. Come closer, come closer. Yeah. I think these are vegetarian. They are. That's why we bought them. Exactly. <laughs> what, they're kind of tired. The fedora of Clyde. I will do. I'll be a fool for you. They say I'm a fool. I'll be a fool for you. Know that I will do. I'll be a fool for you. Cause you are the reason I'm too bad to open up my eyes when I awake. So it goes, quote from Mel Fife. I love Slaughterhouse Fife. 
What was the main character's name? I can't remember. I can't remember either. Clive is entirely T-powered. <laughs> It's a bit too hot. Okay. 